okay welcome to all so today i am going to discuss in details about the date time generation in uh, 8 bit controllers normally in 16 bit or 32 bits controller there is a separate register for date time where you can give but in uh, 8 bit controller there is no some of the controller there will be no separate uh, date time register date time is very important for uh, complementary uh, power semiconductor switching i will explain it so uh, that we are going to learn in details even though it's not uh, i'm not going to discuss about the uh, how to generate the pwm and all because that will be available in my um, different video uh, but today we will discuss more about uh, date time generation how to generate the date time in 8 bit controller mainly uh, uh, in upcoming i am starting one course on uh, 32 bit controller stm32 st micro microelectronics controller so there all these things are there okay simply one register settings itself it will uh, cater the purpose but in 8 bit controller how to do that most of the small inverters even though it's three phase or single phase that can be done using 8 bit controllers so that how to do so you are going to learn it today in details <coughs> okay so now first we should understand what is the concept of the complementary switching so take this is a uh, this is a dc source okay so this is a dc source here is one switch and this is one switch okay and load is connected here so this is switch one and this is switch two now you see this is a half bridge inverter so normally when the switch one is on that time definitely the switch two should be off and vice versa otherwise what will happen if the if for any instance this switch one and two are on together then the dc source will be get shorted okay and once it is shorted very high inverse current it will flow through the semiconductor switching device which can destroy the pn junction so we will always uh, it is to be considered that for any circ cir circumstances that switch both the switches should not on together okay now in case of igbt or any transistor or any power switch if we know this is the if this is the switching pulse if it is given so immediately the uh, <coughs> switch or the igbt or the semiconductor will on but actually it is not happening in that in this fashion so what is happening once you are giving the pulse it will take some time to on okay and similarly when you are giving off it is not immediately happening it is taking some time to off okay even though you can give this pulse of this black color pulse but this actual action in the semiconductor will take place in this so this time period this time period is called t on and this time period is called t off so i should be very careful when i am generating the complementary pulse okay when i am giving the complementary pulse so till till this switch is say i'll take it 
till the switch completely off i cannot give the on command to the complementary switch say this is this 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 is my switch on so for switch 2 i should keep my uh, pulse off till this and once it is completely off then only i can i should give this okay so you see this this period this time gap is called dead time okay so this we will learn today <coughs> how to give it so basically in 8 bit controller most of the 8 bit controller there will be for pwm there is a things called a uh, phase correct pwm and fast pwm in phase correct pwm what will happen the timer will start to count like this and then it will go like this it will go like this so the counting of the timer it will happen in short tooth wave manner okay so now if if the output compare register value if i set here then i will get a final pulse of this like this and if i set my output compare register value is like this then i will get a pulse i can take another color i can get a pulse this area so by by controlling this output compare register value i can i can set such a way that the desired td the dead time can be controlled this dead time will be available in the igbt or the transistor data sheet if you see the data sheet you will get that okay so this is the basic concept of dead time and it is must otherwise you cannot you cannot uh, um, get the output before that itself your transistor your switch will burn frankly speaking in my lifetime so far as uh, today i am handling with uh, uh, power switching several megawatt also but till now minimum i have burned around 1000 igbt then only i got that experience so this is you should these are the things by experience you will learn it okay so now i am going to directly the uh, coding so first as i told this is in my example so today's example i am using timer 1 it's a 16 bit timer and this is the formula for the pwm this is the formula okay so the clock by 2 divided by n that is the prescaler and this is the top value pins from 0 to how much it will count so in this case i have this system clock is 16 megahertz by 2 that means 8 megahertz okay divided by prescaler is 1 i have used prescaler 1 and say 10 bit pwm so top value should be 1024 so the pwm will be pwm will be pwm frequency that means the switching frequency will be 7.8125 kilohertz so for generating a complete sine wave sine wave it's 50 hertz sorry so it needs 156 cycle so if in in the code you see i am taking the value till 156 and once it is crossing i am resetting the counter to means the array increment to mane array index to zero 
so that it will start from again 0 degree once 156 pwm is 156th pwm cycle is elapsed that means it's uh, created it's already 50 micro millisecond is over our power frequency is 50 millisecond so here first i will hide this and whatever i have i am giving to whatever i am giving to <coughs> my non-inverting <coughs> uh, non-inverting pwm the same value I am given to <coughs> inverting PW. So, in that case, how the output is? Let us see. <coughs> so, this is my simulation file. Now if I run it, you see this this uh, green color wave, the green color wave is the non-inverting and the yellow color, uh, sorry the blue color wave is uh, non-inverting and yellow color wave is inverting. So this is, let us take you see what is happening the instant it is one the top igvt is getting off in that same way <coughs> at the same instant the bottom igvt also getting on this is not desirable as i told <coughs> initially there should be some delay so how to apply that how much time so that we already I have shown you we know this is this maximum this is 0 and this is for this part this particular example it is 1024 it is 10 bit PWM and this this period is 7.8 kilohertz so from this I can find out how much this is required for that how much count is to be reduced here that can be calculated okay now if I go to the code and here you see what I am doing I am reducing the count by 20 say for my date time for the for for, for the IGBT which I am using for that date time whatever the count is to be reduced for complementary pulse is 20 so here what I am doing, I am writing few lines. So if my I am I am storing these things in a variable called duty underscore complementary, if it is greater than zero, because it's 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 a sine wave. So this AI is a sine function. So sometime it may it may after this multiplication it may go st uh, even less than twenty also. That time it will be negative. So that is to be I have to I have to clamp it to zero <coughs> so that only i am doing if this value is greater than zero then my duty cycle is, is equal to the same if it is less than zero then i am restrict to restricting it to zero okay now i am hiding this and i am doing like that i am giving that variable okay <coughs> Now let us generate the hex. Now go to my simulation. Load it. Run it. Now you see if I further, you see here now sorry <coughs> now here you see 
so when there is a gap you see from here to here there is a gap so once the blue that means the top switch is off completely off after this much time only the bottom switch is on and when the bottom switch is getting off after this time only the top switch will be again on so this is <coughs> the procedure to generate dead time and this is this will happen everywhere every pwm pulse it will happen <coughs> okay so let us pause it you see everywhere it will be happening everywhere every pulse there is no situation that where that the transition of the switches transition of the both switches is taking place in same instance so this is the fundamental of this <coughs> dead time generation and we will learn when the particular application will come i am uh, right now uh, uh, off grid solar inverter design course is going on so there i will be explaining because the students will be implementing the designing and they will be implementing the uh, hardware practically and that time we will see it in <coughs> better way okay so thank you so much thanks for watching uh, today bengali new year so uh, happy new year happy bengali new year shubho nabobarsho to all thank you so much